Hello friends, many of my subscribers were requesting to upload new videos on the channel. I would say sorry to make you all wait as I was enjoying my vacation time with my sweet family. I am back on board and the action is begun. As soon as I joined the vessel, bunker operation was in progress. After completion of the bunkering, we had spare time to renew the magnetron for the S-band radar, which had crossed its running hours. In this video, I'll describe you the step-by-step -step procedures to replace the S-band magnetron located in the scanner unit. So friends, let's get started. You all must be aware of the radar systems on board your ships. Just a recall, the marine radars are of two types, X-band and S-band, used to detect other ships and land obstacles. Also, it provides the bearing and distance for collision avoidance. This is to achieve safe navigation out at sea. Friends, during periodic maintenance, the magnetrons located in the scanner unit for these X and S-band radars needs to be replaced for efficient operation of the system. Prior replacement of the magnetrons, the radar system needs to be turned off. Guys, please read and follow the instructions mentioned in the manuals for the procedures to power off the systems for the specific radar model on board your vessel. Do place a play card to prevent the accidental start of the system. Later, turning off the main power source, wait for 5 to 10 minutes until the high voltage circuits are discharged. Friends, there is an additional safety switch located on the rear side of the scanner unit. Do switch off this safety switch. Loosen the 8 hexagonal screws securing the pedestal cover for the scanner unit. Once all the screws are loosened, Remove the cover and you will get clear access to the circuit. For reference, I would suggest to capture a picture for the cable connections. Then unscrew the two screws holding the magnetron cables. The magnetron is held in place by metal fixture. Loosen the eight screws of this fixture. Then remove this fixture plate and then remove the magnetron. Friends, please do take out your wristwatch while handling the new magnetron. As the strong magnetic field generated by the magnets can damage the gadget. You might need to adjust the cable lengths for the new magnetron. Do cut them as required. Fix the cable lugs and confirm their tightness. The new magnetron is now ready to be installed back in place. Secure the magnetron with the metal fixture. Tighten back all the screws for the fixture and install both the cable connections as shown in the video. Install the pedestal cover back in place. Guys, make sure there is no any foreign matter or dust adhered to the gasket when you put the cover on. Tighten all the securing bolts for the cover in diagonally opposite sequence. Friends, next step is very important. As the scanner unit is always exposed to different weather conditions, there are chances of moisture ingress into the panel further damaging the circuit. So please do apply a thin layer of silicon around the gasket to prevent the moisture ingress. Once the cover is in place, switch on the safety switch. After you have completed the magneton replacement job, 
turn on the power supply for the radar friends i would suggest you to follow the steps explained in the manual for starting procedures of the radar start emitting the radio waves from short pulse range and gradually change the emission to long pulse range carry out the tuning adjustment as mentioned in the manual friends finally initialize the transmission time in the service engineer menu as shown in the video here you can see the transmission time is set back to zero for my vessels jrc make radar the next scheduled replacement of the magnetron will be after 4000 operating hours guys in my upcoming video i'll demonstrate you the detailed procedures for the replacement of the radar scanner motor which is scheduled to be replaced after 10000 operating hours so do stay connected with my channel by subscribing it now also share the link among your friends to make a job easy out at sea thank you for watching the video wish you all safe seas and healthy stay on board thank you